Okay, hello everyone. This is Max, the organizer from the Silver Wing Pokemon League. I am here with our current and our previous champion from the league, Fede Turano, Avatar Fede. Fede, how are you? Hi everyone, nice to meet you. I'm Fede. Okay, so basically we have our best player from Season 2 and Season 3 here with me. And we're going to be talking about the Kanto Masters tournament that is going to be played soon, March 4. And the thing about this tournament is it's going to be basically a BGZ um, Swiss tournament. But with the addition that we're only playing with Kanto Pokemon that are available currently on Scarlet Violet. So that makes it like a twist for everyone. We're not going to be seeing the most popular Pokemons, just the most popular Pokemons from Kanto. And Fede here is trying to convince me and everyone that we should play Jigglypuff. But I'll leave, no, no, no. I'll leave that I'm for later. I'm going to give you <laughs> an argument that will convince you to use Jigglypuff. And you will end this video saying I will definitely play Jigglypuff. Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> Alright, so um, basically we have a layout here that shows all the playable mons from Kanto. You're going to be seeing that we have some pre-evolution mons. That's because these mons are usable with Eviolite. And yes, we're gonna talk about them Yeah. when, when time comes. Exactly. So um, I'm gonna go one by one and I'm gonna give the microphone to Fede, he's gonna be explaining why Amon is either uh, a meta god, very good, usable, a niche, uh, maybe it's better options anywhere, or a bad selection for this tournament. So, let's begin. Arcanine. Okay, Arcanine. Arcanine, as we uh, we all know, is a meta god. Mm -hmm. It's already very good in BGC. Yeah. And in general, so in this tournament with so uh, so few options to choose, Arcanine is is one of the best intimidates. The other only intimidate is Garados, I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you you can also put Garados there because we all know Garados is also a meta god. Yeah. Um. Okay, that's it. We have our two intimidators. Mm -hmm. That means. Uh, Pokemons with the competitive ability or the uh, defiant ability mm -hmm. are uh, also uh, kind of useful because they counter yeah. these two metagods. Exactly. Uh, which ones do we have, Max? Well, we have Defiant Primate, which yes, if you make it Terra Ghost, you're playing little Annihilate. <laughs> and we yeah. have Wigglytuff. Something that exactly. I actually ranked on the bad tier, but you made me change my mind. Yeah, no, no. Wigglytuff definitely is not uh, in the bad tier. Wigglytuff is um, usual, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. Actually, it's very good. Uh, yes. I think it's, it's too much. How many other fairy types do we have? Okay, yeah, that's true. There are no other fairy exactly. types, but... It's also competitive, so... How many dragons very good. do we have in Kanto? It's still definitely very good. I mean, it's okay, but you're fairy hitting for Witness and dragons. Dragonite and Primate. Fer yeah, Fairy is also good against uh, fighting types. Which is only Primate? Bug types. Uh, and Primate... Yeah, I mean, Primate is also... Uh, usable. Yeah, Prime, yes, I, I believe we... Prime is way better than Will Tough. Yeah, you're right. The thing about Prime is it has a lot of coverage. It has um, it, it can be used both defensively and offensively because with an Eviolite, mm -hmm. uh, it can tank pretty well. Yeah. And you can bulk up and very hard. Yes. You can bulk up, uh, and now it has access to uh, Rage Fist. So you know, if you yes. if you absorb some hits. You're gonna be dealing more damage to your opponent, and you can heal yourself with Drain Punch. So, I mean, yes, you're right. I think Primeape is on a really good position right now, and yes, if you're are, ranking Arcanine so high on the tier list, 
it's also really good because if you're playing Arcanine, for example, I, and you want to avoid the Mirror, Primate, Defiant, or the competitive Wigglytuff, you can play Justified on Arcanine and maybe beat up with exactly. Primate. Yes, that's that's the thing about Primate. Uh, if you see an Arcanine or a Gardos, expect them to not have the Intimidate ability. Yeah. But they are still really good. Uh, because you you force your opponent to exactly. use that ability. So you take value from bringing Primeape onto your team preview, and even if you're not playing him, you're already taking value from it because you're inhibiting the opponent for bringing Intimidate. Yep. So that's really good. Same goes for really tough. So I yeah. think they're both very good in their very good tier. Ah, this is gonna hurt, but I I accept it. You think Primate is... I think Primate uh, is Metagod? better than... No, I'm not going to say Metagod, but I say it's better than Wigglytuff. Okay, okay, fair, fair enough. But the yes. thing is about Wigglytuff, because I was looking at it the other day. Um, I have it right here. The stats from this guy is, are really bad. Uh, we they are actually, no. Not that you have bad. high HP, which is good. If you if you have a team for three room, yeah. it actually is really good, because the speed... Yeah, it's awesome for Trick Room. So, but, but you would you would you run it modest? Like uh, I think you can run modest, definitely. But and I think the defense is so low. I mean, this is a, such a physical meta. You don't need. Uh, okay, remember something. Yeah. Iron Hands defense is also low. You mean special defense? Special defense, exactly. Okay, yeah. It's also low. And it tanks a lot of hits if you but, run just. How low is it though? It's sixty base. Okay, that's way better than forty-five though. It's not way better. It's better, slightly better. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Trust me. It, it, when when paired with some intimidate, uh, forty-five defense with a lot of EVs can uh, can tank a lot of hits. But, and you probably wouldn't you just play it on a ball in two fifty-two? I don't think. Okay, it, it can be used that way. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's necessary with, I, I don't know, near 200 EVs and no beneficial nature. It mm -hmm. can also tank very well because it has a lot of high H HP. You wouldn't uh, invest HP yeah. on this guy? I wouldn't inv invest a lot of HP. Maybe uh -huh. a little bit, like 20. So but you do not... the calcs and, you know, try to survive something. Yes. It depends on on uh, on what do you want to survive. Uh -huh. I would definitely not invest in speed unless no. I don't know. Yeah. You have some weird strategy with Ice Wind or Thunder Wave, and you want to outspeed to surprise your opponent. But I don't recommend it. So w would you run something like? Would you yes. run special defense on this? There's only Gengar on yes. uh, and Jolteon. I mean, that's not much more. You have um, Hypno, Electrode, Venomoth. Yeah, you, you have stuff that can hurt you. It, it depends on what team are you facing. So, would you run... Okay. Wait, let's, let's put it 20 there. and Would you say this is a decent spread? Without doing it the cults or anything? It is a decent spread. Okay. Yes, without doing any cults, it is a decent spread. Yes. And which, which moves would you run on this? This is competitive, of course. I don't know the item. Uh, Dazzling Limb or Moonblast. I, I don't know if it learns Moonblast. It does learn Hyper Voice, which is a way better Dazzling Gleam. Yes. yes, but only if you're, uh, if you want to hit with normal type move. Um, yeah, I mean, as I said before, I think Fairy type is not gonna be forward. doing super effective damage only to Dragonite, which is probably gonna be no. doing Terra type and Primate. Yes, yes, but you have a lot of other stuff to hit them, and you force the Terra type. Also, yeah. if you uh, if you want to, you can run a lot of coverage on Weekly Tough. It has, I yeah, think, energy I ball. Know. It has um, it's thunderbolt. Good. It's it has really fire good. moves. It has a lot of moves. Ice moves. Yeah, okay. it, it, that's something really important moves. on 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 a tournament from our leagues because on our leagues we do not lock move sets for the whole tournament. So mm -hmm. exactly. that's important. It, it's really adaptive, and being adaptive on this kind of league, uh, it's has a lot of value, definitely. Mm -hmm. it, it also has uh, access to support moves like Thunder Wave, um, Chilling Water, Icy Wind, um, Parish Song. 
Anchor, Disable. First song um, sounds scary. Yes, it is, is scary. This because the, part is this the thing with, some... that's gonna trap us and... I, I don't know, maybe some people can find a way to trap with Duck Trio. Duck Trio, and... yeah. Yes, oh. and maybe, I maybe hope they, they, don't. they don't want to trap, but they just want to have the parry song because if the if the, if the opponent has his only two uh, his last two months, you can just parry song and probably win because Wilitov will be the slowest uh, thing in the field. Damn. So you have you just have to tank <laughs> something and. So just this, I was really confident with my team right now. Before I listened to all this, I was gonna go and just you know boom with extreme speed and, but now I'm scared about this guy. Yeah, this you should be scared. Very strong and you know Duck Trio with Arena Trap is, I don't know, it sounds a bit yes. scary. It is scary. What also, what item would you, you run on this? You want one? to, maybe you want to KO Duck Trio and you just run into a project and chilling water and suddenly you don't KO anymore. <laughs> True. Chilling water sounds really good. Yeah, there's a lot of really good moves. So, uh, what okay. item would you run on this? Since we're talking about Wigglytuff, we can also talk about the better option of Wigglytuff. Wait, 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 wait. I know where you're going, but I mean, if you run Wigglytuff, would you run it with like, cho not choice specs, but I mean, um... Probably Citrus, citrus Berry, berry or... Leftovers, or... Yeah. Okay. Citrus berry or, or leftovers or maybe something like life orb if you want to hit really hard in trick room. Okay. And it, what terror type you, would you run it? Uh, depends on the on the opponent's team usually, but I would run. Yeah, but now like you cannot steel, you cannot change your terror like type. type. Steel like a steel type terror steel type, type probably. Is there any poison type? Yeah, there's Gengar. Gengar is there. Or okay. maybe a stop terror type. I would definitely go for normal type. It just you know, oh, I'm hyper voice everything. Yeah, normal or furry terror type is really good also. Okay, but before we move on to the other guy, I, I just want to say one thing. Um, Arcanine, for example, you mentioned it's really good. Everybody knows that. But what can you do with Arcanine? Why is it so good? Maybe there's someone that so does not play okay. BGC and he wants to know why is it's... Arcanine so good? Arcanine is 95 speed base, which is a really good uh, base speed for this uh, kind of tournament. Yeah. There aren't many fast mods in Kanto, and uh, those that are faster are not a big threat to Arcanine. Mm -hmm. Maybe Dactrio, you, you also have extreme speed for Dactrio. Yeah, you also KO. can. Uh, throw a Shuka Berry to Arcanine, you can Terra type, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, it has uh, access to a lot of good support moves like Will-O-Wisp or Snarl. Yeah, uh, it yeah. can be bulky or um, aggressive like uh, Choice Band or even something uh, crazy like Life Orb. Uh, yeah. Or maybe, maybe, you can also run the Justified. Mm -hmm. option which is um really good against teams that have the the wiggly tough or prime mm -hmm. and you you can just beat up yourself and go to plus four attack so would you say i mean justified is good when you're playing with prime ape but if you don't just... have prime ape in your team justify is just okay to you know avoid Boosting the the Nihil life. Yes. I mean the the primate or the Wigglytuff. That's okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's okay I mean it's a mon that it's adaptable to whatever you, you need. You can also run Flash Fire. Yeah. And but... we all we all know what Grass type Flash Fire is. So yeah, the Grass but Terror type for there's not many fire types. Fire. Uh, there's Charizard and Flareon. Yeah. And Flareon, yes, or other Arcanines. True, true. Yeah, you can try. I mean, you can bait someone on Fair Bleeds or whatever and switch in. Yeah. Yeah, you can bait with your Scyther, for example, or your Magneton. But. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. It's good. It has three good abilities. 
Yes. And Gyarados, Gyarados has also Moxie. can Yes, also can be used without intimidate. Yeah. Because Moxie, every time you KO a Pokemon, you get to plus one attack. Basically. Mm. The thing about Gyarados is that I see he has a lot of attack, which is good, but the moveset is so, in my opinion, the moveset is the a bit... moveset is so good because Why? it has access to earthquake, yeah, and uh, ice fang, waterfall, and maybe I don't know a normal type move, crunch. Um, I know what what else does it have? Like uh, I miss, I miss the what the power whip. Yeah, Stone Edge. Yeah, it doesn't have Power Whip, but I don't think you need it that much. You have another op uh, all, uh, You have other options for Grass types or Grass type. Yeah, moves. Ice Fang. Or... And Gyarados. What's What's good about Gyarados is that um, it has access to support moves also. Mm -hmm. Support moves like Taunt, like yeah. um, Thunder Wave, uh, Icy Wind, I think. Um, Oh, it also has Dragon Dance. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, it has Icy Wind and it has Dragon Dance. And yes, Taunt. Dragon Dance is really good with, with uh, both Moxie sets mm -hmm. and Intimidate sets. Intimidate if you want to, to survive more and Moxie if you want to just Dragon Dance and KO stuff and yeah. Snowball. Yeah, you, you're correct with that. I was running Gyarados, but I, I was like about to change it for Cloyster, just because I wanted it to play with something different. But I don't know. Okay, we, we can go to, to Cloyster Yeah, right let's now. go to Cloyster. Where, where would you put it? Niche. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yes. No, it doesn't suck, actually. Because niche doesn't mean bad. It's niche. It means that uh, it, it, it fills a certain role. And that role for, Clo for Cloyster is to shell smash. If you shell smash with Cloyster, you get mm -hmm. to plus two uh, speed and plus two attack. Yeah, that's a good attack. Uh, but I mean, wouldn't you just run it bulky attacker on Trick Room? Because it's a slow mon, right? No. It's no. 70. Uh, I mean, it, it has that possibility too. Look but the defense on yeah, but the, the HP and special defense are so low that it's not worth it. Okay. The good thing about Cloyster is its uh, ability, Skill Link. Yep. Skill Link lets you use Rock Blast or um, Icicle Spear yeah. and hit five times every time. Mm -hmm. So would you go for, like, you're going for a full offensive guy? Definitely full offensive guy. Maybe Focus Sash, maybe... Um, mental Herb? No, what was it? The no, Herb that... The, the other Herb, yes. Um, It's not Mental, it's White. White Herb, yes. Yeah. But will it survive the turn he Shell Smashes, though? No, <laughs> it won't survive unless you pair it with something... Fake Out. That... Uh, no, you have to pair it with something like Arcanine that can Will O Wisp or Snarl. Or Rage Powder or... on Venomoth? Yes. Rage Powder on Venomoth will be really good. Okay. Watch out for those watch out for those grass types or grass terror types and safety goggles because mm. uh, they can ignore True. the rage powder. But if you get to uh Shell Smash, yeah. you have a really offensive threat in the field. So you would run it probably with Icicle Spear. Does, would you run it with Waterfall or... Rock Blast. Yeah, Rock Blast, okay. And... You can also Terra type. An offensive Terra type would be really good in Cloyster. Ice, I think it's really good. There's not many fighting types. Ice is good for offensive typing. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, you meant rock... defensive. Okay. Yes. Rock is also good if, uh, because you get a uh, stab Rock Blast. Mm -hmm. And water is also good because you get um, a, a water defensive typing, which is always good. Uh, or you can run uh, something like Terra mm -hmm. Grass, for example. Grass, okay. Um, if you run Terra Grass, you can also run Terra Blast. This thing does not learn Bullet Seed, right? No, it does not. No, it doesn't. Okay, <laughs> that would be good. 
Yes. Um, terrible last. Okay. It also doesn't learn um, population bomb. No, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I know it learns drill, drill bomb. Yes. To it's also KO nice that right you or jolt you on, probably. Yeah, I think you you you, you can just still KO, KO on Icicle Spear. Yeah. Yeah, because it's also um, it also breaks the focus sash. So. Yeah, yeah, that's way better. So that okay, it looks good, one. but I was thinking also, would you run it without Shell Smash and Joy Scarf on a speedy set? Yes, probably. Um, so you know, full H, full attack and full speed Jolly. To yeah, outspeed. you can also run it with with um, King's Rock. Yeah, oh yeah, I love love the King's Rock. King's Rock is so good. But you need to yeah, I mean, you can run King's Rock or you can run the Scope Lens. I don't I know what's better, either flinching or because, critical. Yeah, no, critical will, will, will uh, only give you a critical hit in one of the five hits. Or maybe two or three, but um, it's not a full critical hit. It's just some of the hits yeah. that will critical. But the flinch I is like, a, once you flinched, you, you keep doing damage and then he's flinched. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's nice. But yeah, Scarf or Choice Band would also be really good. The thing mm -hmm. about Cloyster is a skill link yeah. and access to Icicle Spear and Rock Blast. And he also has priority move on Ice Shard, right? Yes. Which if is you okay. Want the priority move, you have it. Okay, it's a good mod. Would you would you say I'm okay without bringing my Gyarados and going for Cloyster? Yes. Just to I you know, try you... something different. I would definitely uh, have an Intimidate, at least one, yeah. on my team. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, Cloyster is a really good option if you don't run Garados. Yeah, and I think that the superior uh, Intimidate is Arcanine, just because I like a priority, I like the Will-O-Wisp, and I like the Snarl. I mean, it's so much on one Yeah, don't, don't sleep on Garados. Oh, shit. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. Also, you can run, you can just run two water types. Yeah, for sure. You can run slow, bro. But if, you if you're running, I mean, if I'm thinking of going with a Trick Room Setter, I need my slow, bro, or Gengar, yeah. but I, I'd rather go with slow, bro, for that. So I already yeah. have two water types. Yeah, slow, bro is more reliable. As a so I think setter. slow, bro, and Cloyster could be pretty good together. Slow, bro, actually, it's in the very good tier. Nice. Would you because put it like slow, bro, better than these guys? Versatile. I think it's. Uh, I won't uh, try to order them inside the tier. Okay. I think it's uh, even with those two. Okay. I I just won't try to order them mm -hmm. inside the tier. Um, Slowbro is very good because it's really really bulky, and yeah. it has access to Trick Room, and it also has access to Terrestrialize. And you also. The thing about this guy, because I like it so much, is that you cannot taunt him. Exactly. I mean, you can play Regenerator, of I course. Regenerator is really good. But... Regenerator is awesome. But also, uh, immunity to taunt, it's also your awesome. Yeah. And now we have a new item that makes you mean it to, you know, fake out. So you're basically going yes. Trick Room so easy. Basically. And if you if they don't have fake out or if you have ways to deal with fake out, yeah. you can just run anything like citrus berry, citrus leftovers, yeah, yeah. Um, a, a maybe a berry that reduces damage from a super effective move. Yeah, he's just uh, you that's can also a really good, really really good. It's, it's, that's are awesome. Yeah. It's defense is awesome. And that it has I really mean good defense HP, defense is really decent. important in this meta game yes, for and these. Special defense is not that bad. And in speed, it's really good it's under, under trigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It has good coverage moves like flamethrower, for example. And yes, it has the water move you power. like, also chilling water. Chilling water, yes. So I mean, you, you can go Arcanine turn one with this guy, and you know, intimidate everyone, and then you can chill yeah. water someone. And, it's and just... you can also snarl, and nothing can prevent the trick rooms. Oh, you mean snarl no, no, on your Arcanine. Arcanine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nobody's gonna KO the Slowbro on one hit. Yes. Yeah. 
I agree. So Slowbro, um, I I agree with Slowbro being very good, and I actually think it's yes, really really good. Again, I I emphasize this. Imagine Slowbro uh, with his bulk, with a terror type that prevents you from KOing uh, with anything you throw at it. Like I yeah. don't know, poison terror type or teal terror type. I was I was testing. I was testing the normal type. Just because, you know, Gengar can do a lot of damage to you. And I was going Terra normal and he was like missing the whole damage. And going uh -huh. like super easy on my trick room. Uh -huh. You can also go like a poison type. I think it's really good against Gengar. Maybe steel type or dark type. Yeah. I don't know. It's up, up to your team. Yeah. And we have another trick room setter, right? We do. I mean, we have Gengar. Does Counter learn Trick Room? Yes, uh, I think it does learn Trick Room. We have Hen Gengar, oh, Hunter, see? and Hypno. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna say Hypno is playable? Because I don't think so. Hypno is definitely playable. Oh, shit. Where would you put this guy? Uh, I think usable. Usable? Better? Uh, I, I no. know you said this is not better or worse, but... Yeah, it's not better or worse. Actually, maybe not usable, maybe niche. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it, it's definitely niche. Check check out its ability. I know he has a high special defense. I think so. Yeah, yeah, but, but check out his ability. So, yeah, he has a high special defense. He, he's not going to be falling asleep for Warren. Okay. Yes. It, it has Insomnia and it has Inner Focus. You can yeah. uh, either uh, run it either way. Mm -hmm. If your opponent wants to fake you out, uh, you have enough focus. Yeah. If your opponent wants to sleep you with, with um, I don't know, Wigglytuff or Jigglypuff or Venomoth, yeah. you have Insomnia. That's good. I mean, I, the abilities are good. The stats do not look so bad. Well, the stats are not so bad. If you run okay. 252 defense, you tank a lot of shit. <laughs> But what about the move set? They like does it learn physical and special moves? Decent. Um, it has fire elemental punches. Yeah, it has elemental yes. punches. It has trailblaze. With focus, it can be faked out. It has strain punch. But yes, you can yeah, break yeah, screens it has also. <laughs> uh, it has also special moves. Let's see. And it has uh, a lot of super moves. Wow. Okay. So. It's pretty adaptable, and that's something that's, yes. that we said is really important on these leaks. So that's nice. That's disable. It has Encore and Disable. Encore I and Disable. I, I, I mean, I hate this, but I'm, I love it. It, it also has, has access to Nasty Plots. Yeah, if that... you want to go full, uh, full I mean, attacker. It's a speed, it's okay for attack. Trick Room also. I mean, you set yes. Trick Room and you can still be going first. Mostly. Yes, his speed is uh, not that bad. Okay, so I agree it's a niche play. But it's, yes. it's actually good. <laughs> it's yes. interesting, yeah. Exactly. Now, this okay, thing, uh, you, you cannot say this is good. This thing? It used to be good. Yeah, I know, but not now. <laughs> it's I, I would throw it at usable. Oh my god. No, definitely not bad. Oh. It's usable <laughs> because that thing, uh, I I will leave uh, anyone's imagination to you to use it uh, with a better um, uh, with a better uh, setup. That's five defense. I, I mean, you, you quick attack this and it's gonna die. Just think about what can you do to um, to give Chansey a better defense. I mean, you get defense match. curl, defense curl. Defense girl, yeah. For example, it's 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 something. If you fake out something one. and defense girl, it's a good way to. Iron defense is not. I mean, do you no, have anything else? Uh, you can minimize. No, no, no. You have, have defense. Oh no, one. minimize is not. Okay. No, not anymore. <laughs> um, but but with an aviolite, you actually um you actually tank a lot of moves, especially if you intimidate your opponent. So it needs the support to actually be decent i mean it has uh, obscene hp I, I agree with that it, it's ugly but I throw um this is so low nature I mean... and 
252 defense. Okay, bold. Bold. 252. 252. And, and watch how its defense is now more than double than it was before. Yeah, because, you know, you don't have stats, basically. So it's all from the EVs and the nature. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But I think now your defense... you have Avulite, so this is going to be even more than this. Exactly. It's basically almost um, 180. Wow. Okay. Uh, would you just add more HP to this? No. Depends on if you really want to tank uh, I mean, uh, physical defense. What would you or add? maybe you can add to special defense. Yeah, the thing about special defense is, is I see this, and I'm like... Yes. Okay, uh, you have you more to have Yeah, bro probably it's better to... There's not, like, I, there's not a floor defense. main on the on the metagame. I mean, it's just Gengar. Jolteon is fast, yeah, you... but... Oh, uh, you you have Raichu, you have um, yeah, but Electro, it... you have Magneton, you have... I don't think those are Frozen threats. Frozen. Like, you know, they go boom on you. Gengar can be... Oh, you have Charizard. Yeah. Charizard will sun, though. You have Wigglytuff. <laughs> okay, the thing about Chansey is uh, his access to Soft Boil. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna be spreading um, Soft Boil. You're gonna be spreading this cancer on the league, right? Yes. Nice. And ch check out its... Um... It's status moves. I mean, if this still learned toxic, I would say, yeah, this is no, god tier. But no, no, I mean. No, no. But check check out its um its status moves. The HP is about to break the whole website. I mean. Yes. <laughs> My God. Oh, uh, status moves. Status moves. You get calm mind. You get yeah. life do. Yeah, don't use killing wish. You have heal pulse. You have life do. Heal pulse. Which both cure your ally you have skill swap you can get really annoying with skill swap you have helping hand so it's oh, a wait. full support move uh, a full support man but you can uh, play with it you have charm you had thunder wave yeah i mean it's it's interesting the main thing about it's a mon like this yeah yeah, yeah. usable you're, you're correct it's usable but you, you're still, you know, bringing three months and chances. Do you have Seismic Toss? Uh, Check this. I think yes. Seismic. Yes. yes. Okay, that's your way of dealing damage. Yeah, as usual, the 50 damage. Yes. Um. Okay, you, okay. you still... Well, special attack. You really always low. need an Angulite. Yeah. Okay, I agree. This is way better than... What I was expecting. Yeah. And I don't like the look of this. It's just, there's a lot of mons that I, you know, didn't like, and now they're up there. Now you like them. I don't know if and I like them, but even reach the, I feel the pressure that the right I need part. to play them because if I don't, some guy's gonna come trap me with Duke Show <laughs> and, you know, Perry Song me, and I'm like, yo, I cannot defeat this guy. And no. Chance is gonna be there healing everyone. I'm like. <laughs> Ah oh, shit. Okay, okay uh, we we can we can go to Dactrio because yeah. it's um, we are talking about Perison mm -hmm. and Dactrio is actually really good. So you say it's this is a very, very good, good one? actually. Wow. I mean, it's uh, really fast. It, it uh, has. Tell access. me something. What do you have faster than Dactrio? Electrode. Yes, and what else? Jolteon. Jolteon, exactly. And what type is Dactrio? Yeah, yeah, both. Both are exactly. annihilate by, yeah. So, you're gonna tell me Dactrio with 120 speed is not good? I know it's good. And with an ability that can trap you? Yeah, I know it's good. That can trap I... any mon that is not flying type or levitating or yeah. ghost type? It gets Stone Edge also. Exactly. For those, uh, yeah. Yep, and it has Sucker Punch for Gengar or... Yeah. Whatever. One thing about I want to mention is that the arena trap from Dark Show does not trap any ghost types. So exactly. if you're thinking of trapping uh, Gengar, that won't work, sadly. Nope. It also does not work on 
airborne mom, mom, so yeah, yeah. exactly uh, I, you what, won't trap a dragonite it, you won't trap a Gyarados yes it, if a mon is a flying type or levitates mm -hmm. or has our balloon or has Ghost uh, type. I know someone used telekinesis on it mm -hmm. it won't be trapped yeah if you use gravity though you can <laughs> trap it the thing about this guy and is it has guess 35 who learns HP. gravity guess who learns gravity uh probably Ibno. Wigglytuff. <laughs> okay. I think it should learn gravity. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, I mean something. Wigglytuff on the lore it was a moon being No, that was Clefairy yeah. actually. No, Clefairy Clefair learns gravity, but I think Wigglytuff also learns gravity. Can can you check please? Yeah. Now I'm I'm okay. wondering if Wigglytuff, I'm where right. are you? Here. Wigglytuff, gravity. gravity. Yeah, it does. Yes. Success. Okay, there we go. You gravity with Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff, <laughs> and you now arena trap everything that's not a ghost type. Yeah. And you're still faster than Gengar and KO anyways, so. Yeah, uh, about that. I mean, Ductrio has 35 HP, and what happened to me when I was testing Ductrio, because yeah, I really liked Ductrio. I'm gonna be honest, I really liked Ductrio. Uh, focus Think session. about it. Definitely him. focus session. Yeah. Unless you want, you don't want to survive and just hit. In no, no. Case you I I agree with the focus session. I actually, or... I even, I actually even run it with choice man because I'm so fast that I was like, yo, I want to do exactly. massive damage. Yeah. But you know what happened about it? I get extreme choice speed man. on Jugtrio and it dies every time. Yeah, that's extreme why speed, you should. Gyro, oh, I mean Dragonite and Arcanine both KO the Jugtrio. Yes, you should you should uh, calc for it to not KO or intimidate mm -hmm. or any other thing you you want to to do about that. If I calc that for that, if, if I calc for that, I'm gonna be investing so much on HP and defense that probably his attack is not that good, anyways. Okay, then you can run focus sash or intimidate. Yeah, or probably focus sash is gonna be the best. Or maybe don't. Uh, Does this guy learn Duck taunts? Trio? No, he does not. Don't bring Duck Trio as a lead. <laughs> yeah. You mean just or, bring him as a cleaner for... Yeah, or, or you can go Ghost Terror type, but I, I recommend the Ground Terror type, because it hits really hard with yeah. Earthquake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, that's, it's super fast, it's attack is okay, the rest is pretty bad. Yeah. But okay, okay. okay. Next one... Good. Charizard. We, we can go Charizard, yeah. Charizard is very good. Wow. You do not yes. have Mega. You do not have Gigamax. You do not have uh, Torkoal or if you, any Sunsetter. If you, pair it, if you pair it with something that has access to Sunny Day, yeah, you but... feel like a truck. Uh... Okay, okay. I, I, I leave you this one and... I mean, I mean, wasting your usable. turn on Sunny Day, something that's not drop, a Murkrow... Drop it to usable. It's, it's still usable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Now I'm, I agree. Okay, but it has a great coverage. <laughs> I think it also has physical coverage and access to belly drum or stuff like that. I don't recommend it, but you can go yeah, for it. Yeah, that's, that's a really good. I mean, it's... Decent speed and really good special attack. Yeah, it's really decent speed. It, it outspeeds Arcanine and can be burned by Arcanine. Um, Has it outspeeds power. Uh, Gardos. Dragon it Fools outspeeds for Dragonite. Stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good. I think it has Thunder Punch for Gardos. Yep, it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. Yeah. And you can also run Choice Scarf if you want to. Mm -hmm. But I think but the turn yeah, the turn that you're wasting on somebody doing if this your Sunny Day. If your opponent has a slow team, if your opponent has a slow team, yeah, Sunny Day and Charizard seems pretty OP. Under you know solar power, right? Yes. With life orb. Solar power and life orb probably. Yeah. Or choice picks. That's nasty, but. I accept it. <laughs> Next one we have Ditto. Ditto. Okay, Ditto is um niche. I'm between very good and usual. Wow. I was just gonna say niche because it's Ditto and it depends on how you use it and when you use it. 
and what yeah, you're Europe right. has. You're right. You're right. You're completely right. It's niche. Because yeah. Ditto um, Super is really good against setup teams. Uh, and not only setup teams, uh, I, I mean anything that, that learns Swords Dance or Dusty Blood or Calm Mind or Dragon Dance or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Arcanine with beat up. You just go Dido and you copy the open stats. Yeah. And you can run Choice Scarfs, Choice Scarf, and outspeed that one. Yep. And I something that I really like and enjoyed about playing Dido is that, you know, you're playing Dragonite. And it feels that it's so strong on this league that it's probably going to be banned. But if you have Dido. And he has Dragonite. You can always bring your better Dragonite because you're faster than him with your Choice Scarf. And if yeah. he does not ban your Dragonite, you have two Dragonites. And that's a lot. I mean, that's really good. Yeah. Also, Ditto ca uh, can Terrastalize after coping uh, a Pokemon. Yeah. And that, if used, uh, if used properly, mm -hmm. it can be really OP. Also, the thing is that you know, Dido, when you when you transform into your opponent's mon, you get to see his full moveset. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's usable. That's a lot. On a best of three tournament, that's usable. Yeah. So okay, let's move. Now Dragonite. Dragonite. I think it, this is gonna be here. Meta God. Yeah. No, I, I think Arcanine is better. Okay. Arcanine is better because we talked about. It has it a lot of uses. Yeah. Yeah. Dragonite but is Dragonite just. Is also, so good. Yeah, really I, it good. It has a lot of uh, physical attack, 135. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sorry, so tanky. 34. I mean, it, it's bulky. It deals a lot yes. of damage. It has extreme it, speed. You cannot fake how... Two, you cannot intimidate. I mean, what else? It has two awesome abilities. One mm -hmm. of them is inner focus, which you can't fake out or intimidate. And intimidate. It's it, Both of them yes. at the same time. That's yeah, a lot. Exactly. I mean, if, you, if your opponent has Arcanine and Persian, for example, you just go in your, in your focus. Yep. And if your opponent doesn't have those mons, uh, you multi -scale. can go multi-scale yeah. and you just tank everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's already... The thing about Dragonite, I, I've been seeing on this... Yeah, it's uh, already tanky. On this um, testing, that the only guy that can one-shot you is Cloyster with the Icicle Spear for, because it's a four times damage. Uh, but yeah. if you Terra type into normal or whatever else, you're not being KO'd. And uh, yeah. Ice Fang on Gyarados, it's not going to lead the KO. Nope. Because and it's so bulky. The, the, good, thing, the good thing about, uh, about uh, normal Terra type is that you have, you have extreme speed. Yep. And you can pair it with a Choice Band. Yep. Or you can pair it with... Um, normal Gem. No, I oh. I mean, okay, it's maybe. like a life word for extreme speed, and you're not being stuck onto a move. Yeah, I but, prefer but extreme speed, uh, choice band, but yeah, I prefer choice band or maybe amulet coin with multi scale. Can I can, can I can I like say that the only thing you, which this mon needs you can is dance. this, and that's it. You can you can bring them on like this, and it's gonna be usable. Wait, let yes. me let me let me correct something. Okay, now it's playable. You don't even mo need the rest. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. So Maybe have something to hit Gengar, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Probably Earthquake or Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is going to KO Gengar every single time, and it's also yeah. really good on this. I mean, you're not hitting unless, little stuff, but the rest of the, unless, the mons have been mangled. Unless Gengar burns you, which brings us yeah. to the last meta god which is gengar yep i agree gengar is so good it's my all-time favorite mon but it's also so good in this format yeah in this uh kanto meta game because I mean, it has a lot of wind. usable moves it Will has wind. icy wind for speed control will always it has thunder way i think it has um yes destiny bond mm -hmm. destiny bond is so good you uh, the 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 ones who saw uh, our uh, match yesterday against Alejo, uh, you saw how uh, Mimikyu took down the Tyranitar with it with Destiny Bond, and imagine yeah. if you use Destiny Bond with a 110 base speed mon. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I'm um, be I've been running it with Focus Sash just because I want to use the Destiny Bond, and yes. you usually get 
to 1 HP pretty easily. You're not defensive yep. at all. And you're so fast that you can, on turn one, you go for either Icy Wind to, you know, speed control or will o -Wisp the Dragonite. And then he hits you and then you Destiny Bond the other guy and you're okay. I yep. mean, it, it did a lot. You can you can also Thunder Wave, you can... Yeah, I, I, and the mo I mean, the, the offensive moves are really good also. You can Taunt. You have spo uh, Fast Taunter and you have access to, you know, Sludge Bomb, which is Sludge dealing bomb. a lot of damage and Shadow Ball. You have also the yeah. the typical thunderbolt, so also... yeah, thunderbolt, yeah, thunderbolt, energy ball, energy um... ball, yeah, it's really good, really good. Yeah. I agree a hundred percent, and I think this is yes, gonna be seen definitely on every single team. Super meta god. Yeah, it also has trick room, right? It has trick room, exactly. You can either counter trick room with the trick room. Yeah. Uh, like I know, uh, if you have a slow bro in yeah. front of you, and you can. You can't do anything to stop him. Mm -hmm. You just like, also click Trick Room and yeah. that's it. You re reverse the Trick Room. I mean, it does not have Levitate anymore, but Cursed Body is still a really good ability. I've been getting props yes. a lot of times. 30% actually you looks want... like 50. I don't know why. But I mean, <laughs> every time it procs, I feel how useful this is. Like, really. Some, yeah. Suddenly, your opponent is... Has... It's like a random disable, yeah. which I think it also gets a disable. Yeah, it has a disable. I'm pretty sure it has. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. learn Encore, but it learns Disable. It has Encore. Oh, it has Encore. So, <laughs> can we actually say this is like... Yes. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to order them in between the tiers because of this, exactly. Yeah, okay. But I, we agree that these are the four yes. powers yeah. of yeah. the event. Definitely, yes. And if you want Gengar with Levitate, I can offer you a Pseudo Gengar. <laughs> Hi. The Pseudo Gengar is Counter. I think it's Niche. Niche? Okay. I, I niche thought you were going to say... It's a Gengar that can Levitate. It's a weaker Gengar. The yeah. the defenses doesn't matter because uh, you're also uh, weak. With Gengar, but, would you still run it with it? Evil Light, or would just go Focus Sash on it? Nah, I, I would go Focus, focus Sash. Evil yeah. Light doesn't do anything. So basically, you're, uh, you're gonna be using it like the same as Gengar, but with Levitate. But, yeah, yeah. It's slightly slower. It's slightly um, weaker on the offensive. Weaker. But if you're playing it yeah, like support uh, with Destiny Bond and everything, that's yeah. I think the good special opinion. attack. It's also weaker. Yeah. But, but it's okay. It, it has levitate. Yeah. If you want to levitate, with and Gengar, the shiny looks way need... better. Yes. <laughs> if you need a levitate with Gengar, you can go hunter. Okay. It's a niche. It's a niche. You're yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Uh, we have uh, electro, right? Electro. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, usual. Usual. Wow. Okay. Usual. Yeah. Yes. It has. I. It has fight. Uh, fastest speed on the whole on tournament. The and it also has uh, access to light screen, right? Yes, it's not very good, but it's usual. I mean, because it has light screen, it has, uh, I think, Eerie Impulse, it has Thunder Wave, it, it can hit hard with uh, Thunderbolt or something. It can also self-destruct or explode. Yes, it can. <laughs> and it has um, Static uh, and Aftermath, which are really good. Yeah, they are both really good. It, yeah. it prevents your opponent from just going for um, uh, physical moves, like contact moves. Yeah. Because the, they can KO you and get a lot of damage, mm -hmm. or they can be paralyzed. Yeah. And soundproof, I don't think it's good, but it can work. Probably if you don't want to get hyper voice versus yeah, uh, but okay, beat off or sing. Or whatever, I don't know. Or snarled. Okay. Oh, yeah, snarled. Yeah. Uh, now, Arcanine. what do you think about Flareon being, you know, Toxic Orb, Guts? Better, better options. Better options, wow. Yeah, the better option is Arcanine, right? Yes. Arcanine <laughs> is a way better option. And if yeah. you want, for some reason, Toxic Orb and Guts, mm -hmm. uh, you still don't hit that hard. And you drop yourself with the Flurblitz Recoil. And, and Toxic, yeah. Yeah, maybe you can run normal Terra-type facade, but 
I don't think it's the way. I think there's better options. That's a really high attack stat, though. Yeah, but it has low low speed. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. You yeah. can run it under trick room, and maybe you can hit really hard. But as I said before, mm. there's better options. I agree. There are just a lot of options that are better. <laughs> okay. Now Sholtion, okay, his Jolteon, brother. Yes. Yeah, this is a fast Jolteon, guy. Jolteon, I think it's also useful. Yep. I agree. It uh, it's same as Electrode. It can hit hard. It has Bolt Absorb if you need it for some reason. I think it actually hits really hard. It hits it hits hard. Yes. It yeah, has I mean, one ten, I think. Yes. It hits a it's bit not... less than Hunter though. Yeah. But slightly. it's faster. Way faster. Yes, way faster. It also, um, I think the thing about this guy, because I've been testing it also, the access to Bolt guy. Switch. I mean, Bolt Switch is always really good, and a fast Bolt Switch, you can even, even choice packs this guy. Yes. You can just, you know, come in, pivot, and do a lot of damage, and come in with yes. an Intimidate. It still doesn't have a lot of damage output, so yeah. it's not I mean, it has Shadow there. Ball, and I think there that's it. There's no more, I mean, yeah. Signal it Beam. It also doesn't have no. coverage. It pin me so I think it has eerie impulse. Eerie. Yeah, but okay, that's And Thunder Wave for speed control. And that's it. If your opponent is it does have cheap discharge uh, though. Yeah. If your opponent uh is an electric type or ground type, you can hit him. <laughs> Only Shadow Ball will work. Yeah. You actually have access to Terror Blast. And yeah, water Terra Blast type. is your only coverage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's good. But the thing I I saw when I was playing um, Jolteon is that if I want to bring an Electric Mon onto my team, I have a better use on Raichu. And that's because it has yes. Fake Out and Nuzzle. And it also has yes. Bolt Switch. I mean, it's, yes, it's doing exactly. a lot. Raichu, Raichu is um, probably the better... Uh, Electric type, it's very good. Yeah, I agree. Raichu is very good. Like it's, you see, Raichu. I mean, Jolteon is the second fastest mon in the format. Yeah. Um, just behind Electrode, but the thing about Raichu is, um, his ability. Yep, it has lightning static rod. and lightning rod. Both are really yeah. good. Lightning rod is probably better because if you pair it with something like Gardos, they can't. Thunderbolt your Gardos. Mm -hmm. exactly. If you see a Gardos and a Raichu, just bring Discharge or something because otherwise you won't hit the Gardos. Yeah. And yeah, I, I mean. And, and also Static is really good. I mean, it, usually if you're going on on a Speed Tie, I'm yeah, uh, not a Speed Tie, but I mean, if you're going, have, if going with if your opponent Fake doesn't out, have Electric Tie moves or, or you're not afraid of Electric Tie moves, you can just go Static. And yeah. the other thing about Raichu is it has access to a lot of good moves like Fake Out, Nassel, Faint. Don't sleep on Faint. Yeah, Faint. And I the, the move I've been using as a fourth slot, either being Volt Switch or Volt Tackle. Because once yes. my Raichu came in and it, you know, Fake Out, if I can, if I don't get value from the Nassel, the Volt, Volt Tackle is going to do a lot of damage, and it's going to probably KO my own Raichu, which is good for a free switching on the next turn. <laughs> I mean, it just the Fake Out and the Nuzzle is a really a lot of value. Yes. The thing about this guy, and, and that's what I was going to say. It also learns Grass Knot and Nasty Blood. Yeah, and Surf. There's a Surf variant. And surf, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. Um... The thing I was gonna say that static is good because you you're not as fast as Persian, which is another and the other fake out option for the tournament. And even though he's gonna win the fake out every single time, if he goes a fake out on your right, you, he has a chance of being paralyzed from static. Yes. So that's good. That's a good point. Speaking of Persian, yeah, it's also very good. Yeah, I agree. It's I agree. also very good. It's not a meta god, but just very little. I mean, it, I've been using it good. like this. I, I know it's not the best, but I've been using it like this. And flying type. You can use it defensive with foul play. You can use it, also. yeah. Foul play is really good also. 
it has access to Icy Wind, Fake Out, also Faint, like Raichu. Um, I've been using it like this, just because I love to see how a Fake Out is dealing half HP to everyone. Yeah. I yeah, mean, exactly. it, it's nasty. And fake once the fake out, out is gone, I. Especially either... if you tear a normal. Yeah, if you tear a normal, that's gonna probably kill something. It also has yes. access to. What is the grass move? Um, Tray Blaze, which is also boosted yes. by uh, Technician. That, that's really good. Yeah. It has a lot of boosted Technician moves. Um, Faint also is boosted by Technician. And it's and normal. Also, People, people don't know about something that Raichu and, and Persian have. Uh -huh. It's that Terra Blast, uh, no, sorry, Terra Blast, no, Terra yeah. um gives uh, moves that are below certain number, I think it's 60. They, they give them more power and they are basically 60 base power moves. I didn't know that. Or, yes. So you're saying um, if I go Terra Normal and go Faint, I'm doing 60 base plus the Technician boost plus the... I think, I think the Technician boost applies after. Okay. But it's still good because if you go Terra Normal Faint, mm -hmm. you still heal a lot. And if you don't want to go Technician and want to go Limber because you want to win always against Raichu, you can also wow. do that. That's interesting. One yeah, thing I, I was going to say power. also, I, I mentioned... Paralysis, yeah. Um, the thing is that the lack of Tailwind means Paralysis is really good in this format. Yeah. Because you don't have many Tailwind users. I think there's Charizard, um, which isn't bad, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think Dragonite learns Tailwind. No. So... Thunder Wave is the way to go. The only tie win, I think, Wave. is um, Scyther. It's, yeah, Scyther, uh, it's, yeah, if you don't have Scyther, it's either a Thunder Wave or Icy Wind if you want speed yeah. control. Yeah, I was going to um, say that um, the thing I mentioned, Raichu I like, was Volt Switch, right? Which is yes. good. And on this guy, you have U-Turn. U-Turn. So that's yeah. another way of, you know, resetting your fake out. You come in, you fake out, do a lot of damage because you're a technician and normal type, and then you U turn and you reset your fake out. And so, yeah. since you're so fast, unless they KO you on your first turn, which is like hard because you're actually faking out someone, you can U turn yeah. and come in with an intimidate. You can have focus sash. You can have focus sash. Yeah. You can yeah. go max HP if you want to. I think this is so, so borderline to this because, I mean, it's, yes. it's being KO'd really easily. I know, Extreme Speed is gonna kill it's him. The best, but it's the best very good man. Yeah. I think so too. So let's go on to this guy. Are bad, but... Okay, Mock. Yeah. Mock is um I don't know if niche or usable. Okay. I I mean I was hating on it. I was saying that it's really, really bad. No, it But then has, I lost it to it. It, it started course. doing curse. And I was yes. like, you know, I'm gonna ignore this guy because it's, it's not gonna do damage. And I uh, couldn't, yeah, no. I couldn't kill him with sludge, sludge, um, black sludge. I was yeah. uh, unable to kill him, like literally. It has a lot of special defense. I, I think 105. Uh, it has uh, 100 and 105. Uh, yeah, HP. Yeah, 105 HP. Yeah. It, it doesn't have bad defense, but paired with one or two courses, yeah, you you actually have a really good. Yeah, and the attack, I mean, the attack is good, and it has access to the all the elemental really punches, and yes. it has, like, such Knock a good off. moveset. It has Shadow Sneak if you need, Shadow like, sneak. some... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Rock slide, poison, it has um... Drain Punch. Yeah. And Gang Shot hits, like, a truck. Yeah. Drain Punch is, good. is like, interesting because there's so many possibilities of Dragonite going normal Terra and also Arcanine. So, you know, you Drain yep. Punch them and you heal... A lot of HP on this guy. Yeah. So um, I agree. I agree. Is actually I think usable. Is the better option. A trick room team is the better option Who? for using it. Uh, no, I. I mean, a trick room team yeah. is the best option. So you're saying this is a niche because it needs trick room to be 
Decent? No, it doesn't need trick room, trick room, but it's better with trick room. It's okay. a niche because it needs uh, the um, curse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, without curse, it's not. I mean, it's not dealing damage. It's not a threat. Without curse, it's an average. Also, it has access to poison touch, which is really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Magneton, one this is the is, only steel type on the whole event. It's the only steel type. That, that's why it's a niche. Okay, yeah. I mean, the stats are not bad. I, it was meant to be a final stage, so it should it be bad. Yeah, it, it can be used in the trick room, but wait, wait, not that like much. That. It's kind of weird. It has 70, I think. Yeah. It has good it has a really attack. good special attack. Yeah. So under trick room or with the, with the right... Does it have uh, analytic? It has analytic, which is like a super stab. Yes. It, ca it has 30 also, which means it can get one shot at. You're never going to use Magnet Yeah. yeah. I but I think Analytic, if you're playing... The yeah. only thing you would use Magnet Pool against is another Magneton. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, that if, if you had, like, type. higher HP, I would say Analytic is good because you're always going... Probably going to be the last one to hit. Yeah, and... I, I think the way to use this one is definitely max HP, max special attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Models. Unless you want to run, I don't know, Choice Scarf. No, I mean, I think this is like either Magnet, Sturdy or it Analytic and... It can be a good choice pack. with Choice Scarf, but... You can... Bolt. Yeah, Analytic Choice Packs hits like a truck. Thunderbolt, maybe, or Discharge, I don't know. It, it has Flash, flash Cannon, forward. but does Flash Cannon hit anything? Because there's no Rock type in here. It, has, it hits Wiggle Tough. But yeah. that's it. You, you can hit... No, you're not hitting super effective on Cloyster because it's water type. No. So, I don't know. Yeah, Flash Cannon is not that good. I can, has, I, unless you're facing a Wigglytuff. It does not have any other moves. Uh, moves. What? Yeah, I know. Wow. It has Sub Cannon. <laughs> yeah, but... It has um, Electro Ball if you want to go hmm. Scarf. His moves are so it poor. It has Terra Blast know. if you want to go Terra Grass, for example. Yeah, yeah, well... I think it's good on the niche touch, but I think it's better options because you wouldn't be playing it. No, no, it's still niche type. Okay. Because uh, it's the only steel type. Yeah. Okay. And it's it has sturdy and analytic. I mean, it hits really hard. Yeah. It's still a niche type. So will you allow me to actually put this guy on better options because I think Raichu is better? It, yeah, definitely. It is. Uh, I mean, you have the ac access to this. A, uh, what is it? Light ball. Yeah, here, Light, Light ball. ball. So you get in super boosted attack and is special attack. Game? Is it even in the game? It, yeah, 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 it's in the game because you need him. You need okay. the Light Ball to actually learn Ball Tackle on the game. So, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Well, then the only thing that uh, that Pikachu is better than Raichu is... Um, damage. Damage. But, I mean, it's slower. It has taken out, yeah. which is good. It's slower. But yeah, it's slower. It's, um, it's not going to win... A fake out to a right shoe and it's not gonna win to yeah. a person so yeah and with light ball uh i know it's uh it has a lot of attack but life or right shoe can deal yeah, all the all same and the same you're damage. you've been bulkier yeah it has so less hp i mean it, i don't think it's worth it at yeah, all i don't think it's worth at all so now this guy this guy um before you say anything I was gonna bring it just because I love him, and I think it's like it's the coolest guy on this tournament. And, and I've been using it with Tailwind, there. and I like it. But after the Tailwind is gone, he's just sitting there, being okay. Yeah, close to useless. Do, do you use it with Technician? I use it with Technician. I'm mean, usually running it with um, either U-Turn or Pounce to control, you know, speed control and boost. With technician. Mm -hmm. Well, it has uh, acrobatics if you want to use yep. acrobatics. But the thing about acrobatics is that you need your focus ash to proc. And I, I was trying or it with Avialite. But Avialite use... is now taking on Primate, so that's fine. Yeah, Avialite is fine. Uh, focus ash is fine. But you can also use other moves like uh, other items. I mean, like, I don't know. 
I mean, his stats are really good. His speed is really good. Your Tailwind is probably gonna come out. Unless you're being faked out. You um, have access to faint. You, you what? You have access to faint. Yeah, you have access to faint. But I don't know. I mean... If you are actually... Um, abusing the Tailwind, that's good. But if you're not... You mm -hmm. want your Cider to be killed probably oh. next turn because you actually want to use your turns of Tailwind and this guy's not doing it's so only much damage. reliable Tailwind user and it's, it stays with Gengar so it's not that bad. 105? No, Gengar is 110. With Gengar. Yeah, never yeah. mind. I thought it was 110. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, where, where would you put it? Uh, maybe you should. Yeah, I agree. I was calling it a meta god, but then I was like very good, and now I'm calling it a usable. Yeah. Because I, it's good. It's either usable or niche. Yeah, I think it's usable. Because technician yeah. and... You can do something. Yeah, yeah. Bounce is not bad. Bounce is actually not bad. Yeah. You, you Again, have boosted technician. Let me, let me remind everyone that niche is not bad. Yeah. Niche doesn't mean bad. It means niche. Yeah, means I mean, niche means that... You have under cir certain circumstances, this guy could be a very good mon, and under yes. other circumstances, it could be bad. Yeah, I in, under center, certain circumstances, it can probably be the best option. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so now, then we have Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Vaporeon, I would say it's uh, usual. Baby Suicun. Yeah, Baby Suicun. It has access to Calm Mine, yeah. to Acid Armor, I think. Um, it well, has Water hydration, Absorb. Hydration is bad. Uh, You're not gonna use it. Yeah, Hydration is probably bad. But Water Absorb, if you run like a Fire Terror type or Ground Terror type mm -hmm. to prevent those Electric type moves, mm -hmm. it, it, it's basically a Clot Sire yeah. uh, typing wise. Because. Um, for everything else, it's completely different. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it can it has access to boosting moves like combine and um, yeah, yeah uh, acid armor. Also it has, has access stored, to chilling water. Power. Right? Yes, it has chilling water. It has stored power, I think. Mm -hmm. So you can you you know combine and then explode and yeah, I mean it's good. Yeah. It does not have any. You can you can bottom pass. The calm mines to other mon. You can heal. Is that I even think, usable in doubles? Though, no? I has access to icy wind. It has icy wind. Yeah. Okay. I mean it's okay. Um, and the, the stats are really well distributed. It, I mean it's I don't know. really quick, bulky. Quick attack it. might be useful if you want to proc something on. On a, oh, yeah, you can break mon. a focus sash. Yeah, yeah, but you you can also I know pair it with something, and you just quick attack your own mon. No, doesn't work that way, right? Mm. No, you you don't have anything that kind of. No, that. yeah, you nobody. With armor. Yeah. No, it's it's usable, but I don't. Yeah, no, it's. I don't way. see. I don't see it use being so much because if you're playing water type, you're either playing Gyarados or Slowbro. Yeah, exactly. So that's why okay. I was calling it a better options. Better options, yeah. Actually, now that we think about it, yeah, it's. Better options, yeah. Because Slowbro also has Calm Mind, yeah. And, and Iron if it, I don't know if Slowbro stored learns power. stored power, but if it does, it has Tab, which yeah. is way better than Vaporeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it does. Okay. Yeah, it actually there's better options than Vaporeon. Yeah. Okay, Venomoth. Now this guy. This guy. It has um, Sleep Powder, guy. Rage Powder. It's a niche guy. Niche guy. Which Again, doesn't mean it's bad, and you should respect a Venomoth if you see it. Yeah, I'm actually because not only respecting it, I'm scared as hell of it, because I, yeah, I was being slept every single turn. Thing, it can Rage Powder, it's like a Volcarona, yeah. but well, worse. <laughs> yeah, it's worse. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, if Volcarona was in the game, I would throw it at better options, but yeah. it isn't, so... My, my question about this guy is, would you run shield it with dust. Tinted Lenses you can't, or Shield Dust? With Shield Dust, you can't fake it out. Yeah, you cannot fake it out, and also if you... Wait. It's like a cover cloak. Does uh, being a bug type prevent you from being a slept from the mirror Venomoth? No. 
So you need shield dust to win the mirror. Um, you need. Uh, l let me check shield dust uh, description. It's an effect by the secondary effect, which means sleep powder uh, puts you to, to sleep. But I think isn't that like the first effect, the main effect? Yes, it's not a secondary effect. So yeah, you still be in a slip. Yes. Oh, okay. The thing about uh, the tinted lenses is that you can, you know, bug bus and do a lot of damage. But I think that if you're playing this guy, you're yeah. actually playing this you guy. You can also me. slash bomb and do a lot of damage yeah. to anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are the because two staples. Only Magneton, only Magneton is immune to it. You have Giga Drain. You have. Yeah. Uh, it has a, like. You have Quiver Dance. Yeah, you have Quiver Dance. And you have. Oh, sad. Yeah, it's a mini bulk. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, Mini I like it. Corona. I like it. I've been using it. I do not hit the sleep powders. I don't know why. Even if I run the scope lens. No, what, what is it like? White lens. White lens. Yeah. Oh, white. See, yes. White, white lens is sleep powder is gonna be what? 80? 81? 80. 83. 82. Okay. That, that's better. But I don't know. That's better than... Probably, yeah, if you're playing this not... guy, I think you're playing it with Focus Ash. Yeah. Because you, you turn one, you sleep powder, and the other guy hits you, and you go one HP, and you can rage powder. So you take value from, you know, being there. Yeah. You can use a hybrid sleep powder, rage powder, quiver dance, and yeah. attacking... And bug boss. Because if if they resist, you don't care. I, oh, no, yes, yeah. you care, because you're not playing the tinted lenses. No, no, you care, but you still do damage, uh, or you can go slash bomb. Yeah, but slash you bomb still slash. do damage, and if you want to be KO'd, you can rage powder. The thing about this is that an opponent can um, can counter you by just adding safety goggles to something. Yeah, both moves also, are being countered. Yeah, grass types, grass types are immune to it, yeah. but grass types are weak to slash bug bomb and poison. Yeah. Okay, now um, we have this I, guy that does not have access to Rain Dance. Is there, is there any grass type in the... Nope, there's not. No. Nope. There's not. Okay, so they have to terrestrialize to yep. stop. Okay. So that's a, like something, that, as you said before, as we said before. If you have it on team preview, you're already, yeah. you know, conditioning your opponent to either bring something with safety goggles and, yeah. you know, re renounce to any other item. Or to waste a terror type. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, Golduck. Golduck. This guy does not have anyone who brings the rain. No, I mean, you can bring the rain bad. with Persian or Gengar or something. Yeah. But it's not optimal. Would you say it's and even it, usable? I, I... It doesn't hit hard. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. I, it, it hits it's so the rain. It, average. It it has an anchor and disable, I think, but it's, the speed is not that good. No. Uh, it's an average mon. Yeah. It's probably the only bad, bad mon. Yes, we have a bad mon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And now we have oh. also a. Uh, okay. An we interesting mon. The point. We have the monster. Do we have a very good? Yes, do we do have a very good mon. Better than Wiggly. Better than Wiggly. Wow. Because, and let me show you something. Remember everything I told you about Wiggly Tap, right? Yeah. About all its support moves and everything. Yeah. Okay, this guy has everything. Uh, a really good bulk with Evil Light. Yeah, actually, yes. Well, Which defense is... you 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 don't want to invest in HP. You Are you want sure to this is? Defense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you go if you're twenty-two. Oh, wait, wait, what am I looking at here? Um, this and this, right? Yeah, exactly. That's and basically it. And a you... boosting nature. Yeah, and probably. If you, like, you tank a lot, Bold. but most important. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you guys know about something called damage calculator? Okay, yeah. this guy, this monster, makes you throw the calculator to the trash. <laughs> yes. Because it its ability, yeah. friend guard, friend guard, means that your ally 
takes 25% less damage. So if you cut something for, I don't know, um, I, I know that this month KOs that month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, okay, I know Extreme Speed is going to KO um, every Duck time Duck Trio, yeah. but I know also if now I'm going don't. Extreme Speed with Terra type, I'm always going to be KOing Rachel, for example. And now it yeah. may not happen. I don't, don't know, but it may not. Now you don't. And yeah. you, you you have access to uh, Perry Song, Anchor, yeah. Disable. Um, you have access to everything that Wigglytuff did, and you can also you can still use Competitive. And... You can still use Competitive. Yeah. I don't recommend it, because, yeah, because if it's... you run with Jigglypuff, you just go full support. Yeah. Does it have Follow it Me, though? Have... No. No, it doesn't. That's why Clefairy is better. Way better, yeah. But this guy is like a Clefairy, but without the Follow Me. Okay. I would use a defensive Terror type. Yeah. Definitely. Like Steel Terror type or Poison or something. Uh, wait, wait. What, what would you say? What would you say? Steel. If you're still being hit by fighting. Oh no, you're uh, you're neutral no. to fighting. You're furry. Yeah. I don't know anything. I, ghost probably. Yeah, ghost sounds good. Ghost makes a lot of mind games because do they hit you with ghost? Yeah. Move. Ghost and fail. Or type? yeah, yeah. I think or, ghost yeah. is way better. Ghost is. Uh, it's really good. It also means you don't get hit hard by poison type moves. Yeah. Well, I like I like the jingle buff. I'm actually moves. liking it. And <laughs> of course, you have all the the utility moves. Does it like, learn per song? Out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Th uh, show me the all the the status moves it learns. Oh, it also learns icy wind. It learns anchor disable um, screens. Yeah, I mean way. it's the small brother. To Screamtail. Yes, it's a small brother of Screamtail. So. Heal Pulse. Heal Pulse is so good. Helping Hand. Um, skill Swap if you want some shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's so good. This one is so good because, as I said, it throws so many calcs to the trash. Remember when um, when Julian uh, yeah. was the, the Season 1 champion? She yeah. ran the fairy, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, he was running Clefairy and everybody was like, yo, why is he doing this? Yeah, some uh, in some games, he didn't even need to use the follow me. He just, he was yeah, just there. Yeah, throw it in and, there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the, the, the allies uh, tanked the hits like like it was nothing. And what so, happened on season two? Suddenly Clefairy was like overused. Because everybody was yes. like, yo, this is good. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I think. That's what I think it's going to happen with Jigglypuff mm -hmm. in the Kanto tournament. After I this think video, Jigglypuff is a real threat. Okay, I agree now. And as I said, I'm definitely considering it to have it on my team. Yes, you you should. I mean, every team should have a Jigglypuff. I think so. Yeah. So okay, this is uh, basically we've been doing this for an hour. And this is the yeah. the result of this. I hope everybody who took the time to watch this gets value from it. Thank yeah, you for we, we, listening to us. And... We might have made some mistakes. Yeah. Don't don't blame us. We are human. But I think this is uh, probably the the be the better looking tile list. This is the mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that can be somewhere else probably, but. Yeah, but, but the thing is, before closing, right. so I, I, make, I was make... gonna play. I was gonna play the four guys of the top, Persian, and you know, um, <laughs> Prime Ape, and probably Raichu or or either. Yeah, it's closer. a good option. But and suddenly, uh, I have to play this guy, and this <laughs> guy. I'm not like I'm not liking that, <laughs> at all. Yeah, you you have to play every guy, <laughs> and and those who are at the better options or bad, that doesn't mean. They, they can be used. Maybe someone wins with them. And yeah. it can happen. Of course it can happen. I know a guy but who's probably going to be playing Flareon because he loves Flareon so much. Yeah, I and mean, I say, yeah, go for it. Definitely go yeah, for it. Guido Micheli, Guido Micheli, let's say his name. He used Flareon at a tournament. Oh, uh, he used it with um, Flashfire. Mm -hmm. He was basically a, a worse Arcanine. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, but but he used it. So uh, he could have used Arcanine with Flash Fire, but he didn't want to. He wanted to use that one. Yeah. And okay, he can win with that one, but why handicap yourself when you have a better option? Yeah, but I mean, it, it's still Pokemon, and you know, you, there's a lot of things that come to mind. For example, if you playing against Arcanine, you know what what Arcanine can do. Now, if you're playing against Flareon yeah. and you never played against Flareon, that's you don't know. still something. Unless, unless you watched our video, in okay. which case you know exactly Everything. what every man does. Exactly, and that's why I'm going to call this video super interesting. I had a lot of fun doing it. And this is the yeah, first time we do, uh, you know, a uh, uh, discussion over metagame or everything for the league. And I hope we can do this uh, more often. Definitely. With the following seasons and when Pokemon Home comes out and everything. So with this, oh, we're going to yeah. be closing the, the video. Thanks, Fede, for being here and, you know, sharing all your experience. You're two-time champion on the Silver Wing Pokemon League, so that's a lot. And I hope you guys had a good time. Good night. See you and good luck to everyone in the tournament. Good luck on the tournament. We'll, we'll see you there. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.